I would say it's not only one interesting topic, there are a few. Uh, I have seen yesterday a lot of new products and solutions uh, which I see really a benefit for especially us, for the retailers and also the banks. And uh, a number of startups have grown up when I compare with last year and uh, I would look forward to see them also next year and how can they find the right balance between very innovative in the future as well and have now the found of the maturity they have achieved now. We want to show the audience here, the retailers and our stakeholders and so on, partners, banks, the comprehensive product offering and services we really have in place. But besides the traditional one, we want to show also our IoT functionalities, because with the new industrial revolution, uh, we want to bring together the new players from the technology point of view and as well the traditional commercial players. And we have been working uh, for a platform which allows all these players to be connected to each other and we stay uh, really uh, neutral behind that and want to get the rules in the hand of all these players using our technology platform. It's fantastic and when I look also to Money 2020 and when I compare it last year, how many new solutions and products popping up today, it's fantastic and it's, it's, it's exciting to me to see that the market is still very attractive also for fintechs and new startups and at the end I would say it it's depends on if you really meet with such new products the needs coming from the market and especially retailers and banks and at the end in a market that like we are highly secure related and, and driven by scales it uh, depends on how you can grow with all these new solutions and, and meet uh, all, uh, all the requests coming from the market and at the end, it's all about integration, because when you look to our customers, all they are asking for, we want to have everything out of one hand. And our aim is now to cooperate with a lot of the startups and to be focused on our strengths and have a good cooperation with a lot of startups that we can, as one, as, as one company, go to retailers and banks and offer them everything out of one hand. Not doing everything out of one hand, but it looks like that we can offer everything with have a good collaboration with partners and startups. It's absolutely, it's encourage us all to improve constantly all our products and, and services. But at the end, what I said before, it's, it's also a part of uh, that we can integrate everything in our offering. And uh, we were not there when we not, they didn't, had all, they didn't have all these new solutions coming from the startups and, and these fintech uh, companies. I really like to work hard together with them. And at the end, I see really as a success factor that we, in a combination, as traditional player like we are or six, together with solutions coming from the startup, that we are really able at the end together to meet all the requests coming from markets and re retailers and banks. We have really one huge benefit. We know the market since many, many, many years. We have a huge experience and knowledge. We know exactly also what are the drivers behind the retailer. It's not only what drives the industry, because the payment industry is more, more or less often at the end of the value chain of a retailer, for example. Therefore, for us, it's also very important to know what, is, what are the drivers in the business segment of the retailers. And uh, with the experience we can bring in, I see also a good place to be and to exist in what I said before, a combination with all these new guys working now with startups and fintechs. I think it's really a benefit for startup companies that they don't have any legacies, be it applications or other topics. Uh, but I think the benefit we can bring in, and, and also that's, uh, that's why we are in the market, is what I said before, is our experience. We are acting as a cross-border acquirer, for example, since now 15 years, and we have gained so much experience across Europe what really are the drivers behind each market and what are the market needs. And especially in continental Europe, when I depend, uh, when I compare it with the US, it's highly fragmented because we have, you need other solutions in Germany, then in Belgium, then Italy. And, and for us, I think that's a benefit we can bring in with our experience we have, that we know exactly what are the, the market dynamics in the markets 
and that's a benefit we can bring in in, uh, in corporations, for example, as I mentioned before.